The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. It's the talk of the state. In less than two and a half years, uh, the private sector has generated around three, over 330,000 jobs. A University of Central Florida report shows the state economy is expected to grow steadily over the next three years, but not at a rapid pace. The Florida Chamber of Commerce says either way, growth is good for Florida. Would you rather have a lot more dollars in your pocket or just a little more dollars o over time? The reality is we need both. We need a lot of movement in the right industries. At the same time, home sales are rebounding. This is a very positive trend. It's not just a blip on the screen. But the rebound isn't necessarily good news for people buying. The teacher, the first responder that you want to live in the neighborhood that they serve and they can't get in because financing is still very tight. One major issue for most home buyers are investment firms and cash sales. Cash sales are almost always an issue for home buyers who are needing financing. That's because after the housing burst, there were typically fewer issues with cash sales opposed to financing. In Florida, nearly half of home sales are bought outright with cash. That's that's a tough situation for the young couple that really want to buy and start a family if a cash buyer can beat them out. In addition to home sales, nearly seven out of 10 condo sales are cash sales in Florida. In Tallahassee, I'm Matt Horn reporting.